an evil woman pregnant with someone else's child and marrying into a rich family. The child's father learns of an interesting story about her room. Just blackmail her. Seyun was forced so she had to accept. The two went to a corner to talk. But this scene was seen by the little aunt. Seyun asks him what he really wants. Someone said. Rich like you can give me a whole building. Hard to hear. Even though it's a one night stand. But it is impossible to know for sure who the child in her belly belongs to. Want to be the boss of a corporation. Then the price of a building is still low. Seyun thinks he's crazy. Who do you hear talking nonsense about a building? N.A. Jin Ji Yu. Heard Jin Gu's name. Seon was very surprised. Ask him to talk about that day at the hotel. Did you tell Jin Ji Yu everything? He said he hasn't said yet. It remains to be seen how she pays. Seyun had to give a short answer. Tell him to keep his mouth shut. But these are all clearly heard by Dong He. In the room Seyun is asking for help from Jae Yol. Another little aunt appeared interrupted. Teasingly asked her who the man was just now. Seyun said it was a matter of business. But Dong He is far from believing her. Tell her to be careful in. The next day, Dong He intentionally answered the phone in Seyun's office. See you in a few hours. Two o'clock. I know. When you meet me, give me a call. Seyun heard it all. Ask what's going on. Dong He explained that someone had pictures of the accident at that time. Seyun also believes it to be true. Immediately go to that place. But it was discovered that no one was there. At this time, Unsa suddenly appeared, making her startled. How are you scared? Are you looking for this photo? What? Unsa pretended to be serious, holding a photo to describe the scene of the accident. Seyun couldn't believe it. But what Unsa said was completely appropriate. She wants to see that picture. No, she will steal it. No matter what tricks you use. Lie. You're expecting me to lie. But what to do now? The photo is real. Okay. I will give this picture to you. But you must answer me one question. Where are you going to take my Junhee? Do you want to kill it? Did she want to kill it? No. I never intended to kill Junhee. Are you crazy? Why do I have to do that? Then what is? I just want to take it out for a few days. That's it. Why? Why is there no parental consent? Again, arbitrarily taking other people's children out for a few days. She answered me quickly. No. Answer me quickly minute Seyun. There are no pictures at all. This is the trap. She's good at it. If you were so smart, why didn't you know until now? Then Insa took out the tape recorder. The evil woman heard the recording just now and was very surprised. Insa tells her she will be seated soon. Even if she's lucky she doesn't have to go to jail. Then the reputation she built up all this time will be ruined. Seyun was so angry that she hurriedly chased after her. Shout out to her to stop. Li Insa, you stop for me. But she herself tripped and fell down the stairs. Jung Hoon came and saw this scene. Without hesitation carried Se Yun out. Unsa did not have time to react. A crowd of people surrounded Se Yun's hospital bed. The whole president's family splashed dirty water on Unsu. It was also useless for Jung Hoon to explain on her behalf. The little aunt stood up for justice. But she was scolded by her sister once. Se Yun woke up looking extremely pitiful. Accusing Unsu of harming her is kidnapping children. When Jung Hoon's mother heard that, she loved her dearly. Dong Yun told Jae Yol. Definitely use all means to rob the recorder. So he used the story of Jin Ji Yu causing an accident to run away as a transaction. Unsa refused. Said it was nothing to me. It was also Jin Gu's self-made price. Even if Se Yun is arrested. Will be released soon. Of course, perhaps the reputation will be tarnished. But just use clever concealment of communication. Then everything will fall into oblivion. People in our country have very poor memory. In the end only N.A. Jin Ji Yu had to endure long. You are the law. No, money is the law. Have you ever seen anything that money can't buy? Seeing now that Unsu is hard and soft. She doesn't eat. Dong Yun doesn't know what to do either. 
Insa then went to the police station to hand over the evidence. At this time, Jim Ji Yu called and told her to ignore him. Just submit the evidence. Definitely put her in jail. Insa then took the tape recorder and entered the police station. At this time, the ex mother in law knew the news. Rushed to the hospital to find Insa. I want to beg her to protect her son no matter what. But Jin Ji Yu is already mentally prepared to eat jail time. Se Yan is also waiting for the verdict. Impatient like ants crawling on a fire pan. On one side is a man who wholeheartedly took care of him for six years. On one side is an evil woman who intends to kidnap her son, causing the boy to have an accident. In the end, Unsa couldn't be heartless. Choose protection for Jin Ji Yu. Se Yan heard the news and began to be pleased. But finally, Jung Hoon also saw her evil face clearly. Determined to get a divorce. Even suspecting the baby in her belly. Nor is it his own. Se Yan is still making excuses as usual. Jung Hoon had to say to the law to handle. Se Yan called him back. I don't get a divorce. Neither does my father. Hold a stack of documents explaining why you can't get a divorce. Said the president made me sign the contract before marriage. When you divorce, you have to give up the right to family and bring up the child. So why should I get a divorce? I just stared at my child being taken away by someone else, how could I do that? And use this as an excuse not to want a divorce. Pretend you're a loving mother. Just saying it's not Jung Hoon's child. They don't even want her children. Then Jung Hoon went to find his father to confirm. And disagree with his approach. The president said again. If you are not ruthless, how can you sit on the current position? Jung Hoon had to ask his father to cancel this contract. And he wants a divorce from Se Yun. The president doesn't understand either. Two people who have only been married a few days have asked for a divorce. In the hospital. The first mother-in-law scolded In Su. Are you so cruel that you want to ruin my son's life? Why did her hatred pour out on Jin Ji Yu? Mom, stop talking, get out. Jin Ji Yu hurriedly pulled his mother away. Grandma's actions also scared Jun Hee and burst into tears. The boy doesn't know. Why are mother and grandmother at odds with each other now? Insa hastily comforted her son. Then Jin Ji Yu. Ask her why she thinks of him. Insa said that Jun Hee really likes his father. Now the boy is seriously ill. I don't want him to suffer the pain of losing his father. This is also a thank you. For the past six years he has treated Jun Hee like his own son. Jin Ji Yu said that now neither of them owes anyone. That means there is no relationship. And Unsa said that she still can't forgive him. And Jin Ji Yu is extremely regretful. Also tell her never to forgive him. The next day, when she went to the hospital, Jun Hee was nowhere to be found. Unsa was almost scared to the point of losing her soul. Jun Hee holds a toy given to him by a stranger. At this time, Unsa picked up the phone. Jae Yol knows that the child has not lost his memory. Warning Insa told her son to keep his mouth shut. Jung Hoon went to the hospital to help mother and daughter have a place to live. But was accidentally rejected by Insu. Jun he sat on the hospital bed and wanted to go home before. Jung Hoon heard that and walked up. He wanted to hug the boy. Insa standing next to him couldn't bear to look. Jung Hoon also wants to help her. Take care of your son to some extent. But Insa said now his existence will make Jun he fall into an awkward position. Seeing my biological son so close to Jin Ji Yu. Jung Hoon felt disappointed in his heart. The mother-in-law knew that she could not bring her son back. Extremely angry. Just insist on taking you back. Seeing my mother so excited. Jin Ji Yu finally told the truth. When she had an accident. Then you're pregnant. This shock made her almost faint. Ask if your son is cheating on you or not. Why is Jun he not my child? The younger brother standing next to him was also startled. Jin Ji Yu insisted not to talk about this outside. And anyone. Can't win Jun Hee to ask Unsa's hand. In the evening. Se Yun received a blackmail phone call from the other man. I had a miscarriage last night. Your child is no more. Do you understand? When the mother-in-law heard it, she asked whose child had miscarried. Mom. Why am I so surprised? What's wrong? Whose child? Se Yun panicked and explained that there was nothing. Mother-in-law began to suspect Se Yun from here. And the other man was still hanging around in front of the president's house. Was caught by the president again. He found this man extremely suspicious. 
immediately told his subordinates to arrest him. But the subordinates ran a few steps and gave up. Oh my god. This idiot. Come home. He said there was a strange man hanging around the front door. Ask your wife to send someone to supervise. Seon heard that. So very scared. Immediately ran to Jay Yol's room for help. I want to see if you're scared to death. Today, my father almost found out. Let's catch that bastard. 